Get him, Max. Here they come. Max, get him. Oh, got him. Get the other one. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode over here on the Weston Smith channel. Today, man, we are fishing a rock quarry. We're going to have some fun with our buddy Ryan Rigged, who is en route to the location. Man, he's on the way. Devin is prepping the boat right now, getting us unstrapped, kind of trimming up, getting rid of the motor support. And today's episode, y'all is sponsored by none other than Mystery Tackle Box. Devin and I have been using this service for over, for about two years now, loving it. You literally get a subscription box sent to your door every single month. It's like Christmas every single month. I'm super excited about this bait right here, by the way. Top water, some swim baits, hooks, got a couple cranks, varying depths, everything to get you guys going. If you wanna know what the best lures are for summertime, you're gonna get them included in your box. Then we transition to fall, you're gonna get the best baits for fall. You literally have to take thinking out of the equation and they'll put you on the fish, you guys, with some awesome baits every single month. We're gonna go ahead and get these rigged up. We're gonna go for the slam where we try and catch a fish on every bait inside of the box. It's been tough, y'all, and today might be even tougher because not only is it like 100 degrees out in Texas before the feels like temperature, it's like actually 100 degrees, but last night there was a bad storm which we think might have these fish turned off and we're gonna put our skills to the test and see if we can't link up with some fish regardless. So, let's go ahead, get the boat in the water. Ryan's gonna meet up with us soon. We're gonna see if we can't knock this thing out, you guys. Let's get into it. All right, come on back. Super steep bank out here, y'all. Let me get behind the driver's seat. Oh, yeah, keep on coming. Kind of popped off of there. Oh, we're good. I'm just gonna use the trolling motor to get out of this mess. Hold on. Don't pull forwards yet. Dang, the ramp really sinks to the left right there, huh? That trailer is like, Hur. Turn on the garments. There we go, Four, 4.8 feet of water. Just spot locked the boat. Gonna take a few minutes, go ahead and tie on a few of the baits on the mystery tackle box. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go with the hooks. These are by Harmony Fishing Company. All right, y'all, well, I don't know if it's quite top water time just yet, so I think I'm gonna rock one of these cranks and also use these hooks for uh, some soft plastics and see what we can't get into. I'm gonna do the same thing as her, man. I'm gonna start off with one of these Harmony hooks. I think we're both thinking the same thing. Texas rig around the edge with all this brush looks pretty good right here. There you go, guys. That's the setup straight out of the box with that hook Palomar knot and a quarter ounce uh, bullet weight. So we're going to get that thing rigged up with our plastic of choice. Start tossing in here. I'm going to kick things off with a natural crack and crawl, you guys. I don't think they'll be able to resist this. The water clarity is pretty clear today, too. So instead of going black and blue, I think we can ride with this. All right, guys. Let's see what's around here in all this brush, huh? I literally thought I almost got picked up on the first cast. It's just real deep, so the hook keeps falling. That's cool. It's got a nice little drop off right off the bat. Oh, something's got it. First cast. All right. Well, that takes care of the hooks. <laughs> first cast. Just let it fall. I would say I would say they like the crawls. Oh, jeez. Yo, we need we need to. This is not a game. Well, these hooks work. Look at that. He was fluttering and he wasn't getting off at all. You go past the barb on these things and they are going to get them. So these are those harmony hooks, you guys. Wow, Texas rigged crack and crawl, getting it done right off the bat. I literally might need the pliers for this. Okay, first one in the boat, uh, first cast. We will take it. He was out a little bit further just as it fell down. Well, I think I need to switch things up then. If we're going for a slam, I gotta try and tie on one of these crankbaits. All right, guys, I'm just going to take a gamble. Both of these cranks look like they will work here. This one says suspending. So they're almost making it sound like a jerkbait. I'm confused, suspending. Okay, and then we got this guy, deep impact six. Okay, perfect wobbling action down to six feet. I'm gonna try this guy first. Meanwhile, Devin is changing the live scope perspective from down to forward imaging. Cause I just got this thing tied on. Palomar knot again. This is like 15 pound fluorocarbon. You'll get to further depths if you use lighter line. A lot of those cranks are rated to 12 pound fluorocarbon. Mono actually floats, so you won't get the same depth. Same with braid. If you're using crankbaits on that sort of setup, on your moving setups, it's common to do that uh, lighter range fluorocarbon. Maybe bump it up a little bit heavier if you're going through some thick cover. This is some fairly open water, as long as I don't get caught and snagged in these trees when I make these casts. So I should be fine. This thing dives down to six feet and I don't normally throw natural cranks. I have so much confidence in like shad or white colorations. So I just don't bust these things out a whole lot. The water clarity is looking real good today though. I'm thinking this thing should get smoked. Devin's seeing something on the live scope. Looks like a decent sized fish right under the boat. Meanwhile, I think Ryan is only minutes away. See if we can't get something on this crank before we, oh my gosh, that was definitely a tree branch. 
before he gets here. Speaking of hot, did y'all see like on Sunday in Death Valley, California, it was like 130 degrees, which apparently could be the world record. There's like previously recorded higher temperature days, like in 1913, uh, same area, Death Valley, but it's like disputed. So I don't really get that. And then also like in 1931, there was another country, I think that had like a 134 or 36 degree day. But again, it says disputed. So it's like, maybe we just had the hottest day on record ever. And the thing is, now this one's under review. It's like, well, was it 130 degrees or was it not? Anyways, <laughs> apparently it's insanely hot out in California. So as much as y'all probably feel for us out here with no wind today, we feel for y'all as well. Oh, here's Ryan. Hey, what's up? I'm trying to figure this out, man. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, hey. I figured. Gotcha. Oh, you got one? Oh, wait. It's... Oh, he's got it. Hold up, Ryan, hold up. <laughs> Dev's got like a two and a half over here. <laughs> Is that on the baby hog? The crawl. That's on the crawl? Oh, dude, Ryan, you're missing out. Hurry up, bro. <laughs> well, y'all, my GoPro was overheating. Weston was on the phone, and I got a fish. First yeah. one in the boat for me uh, on that Harmony hook. And man, both my catch and Weston's catch, that hook pinned the fish. Like this fish was not going anywhere. So super sharp hooks. Might throw it around for a little bit longer before switching things up, but first fish in the boat for me. Let's get some more. Man, this crank is insane. Literally it makes noise when it hits the water. That's what's going on here. It's got like this little chip on the bottom of it. It's got batteries inside of it and it, and it makes noise. I was so sketched out. I thought it was like, I'm like, what is in this grass? Beautiful. <laughs> I've heard Ryan. a lot about you. <laughs> yeah. We've been getting after it lately. <laughs> yeah, man. It's been fun. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe. Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, that one. That one not seem bad. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> oh, okay. I thought that was going to be bigger. I, I did too. I thought that was going to be bigger. Whenever I had it. Might have to change things up. Second fish for me on those harmony hooks. Third in the boat total so far. I think so. Here we go. Here, come up here on the front of the boat and cast it parallel, Ryan. I'll, I can work the trolling motor. We have this little remote. So that way you're not just stuck on the back the whole night. <laughs> Whoa, right, on. on. What the? It's big. No way. It's not bad. Whoa. It's two pounds, you are. <laughs> you are. Oh, okay, it's actually like two and a half. Oh, That's a good one. Yeah. On the dark sleeper. <laughs> Dang, first time you take it out. I wasn't expecting it, it was, it was like second cast with it. Yeah. And I'm just like, room, and it's going to room, room. Look at that, first fish for me, kind of changing things up. It's on that Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. We picked up a few of these the other day and I've been itching to throw them. And so I figured now was the best opportunity since we're fishing, <laughs> you know? Until I haven't been fishing in a bit because I can't even take hooks out. But check that little dude out. We're going to have to go ahead and put this guy in the live well with his buddy. Oh, a swim bait. Yo, I'm just gonna tie this swim bait on real quick onto the Texas rig. I'm just gonna see if I can. Do, 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 do. Oh, I doubt it. If it were going this fast, it might hardly pick it up. Oh, God, got him. Got one trolling. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's a, uh, is, what? what is it? It's a dinkin. It's a dink. We ran right through him, guys. <laughs> that knocks out the crankbait. <laughs> we got him. Dude, we must have ran right through a school. <laughs> Meanwhile, the trolling motor is like listening to my, it's on anchor lock for some reason. That's how you knock out a crankbait, y'all. You just troll behind the boat going four miles an hour. If we had a fish tank, this would be our guy. I just got my GoPro running. Look, listen, it's making the noise. See, bud, this crankbait makes noise when it touches the water, dude. It's so crazy. Thank you, mystery tackle box. We are one step closer to the slam, baby. You got hit? No. Oh! No way! Oh, what a perfect spot, too. First one on the boat. Yeah! All right. All right, y'all. It is time. We are breaking out a little bit of top water. I'm going to rock this Savage Gear walking frog for just a minute. I'm definitely going to cut these legs. I find uh, a lot of the frogs walk better for me whenever I do that. Someone even mentioned you get a better hookup ratio in the comments recently. I don't know about that, but I definitely feel like they walk better. So let's go ahead and trim these down. Using these like $10 snips, man, off of Carl's Bait and Tackle. You guys have got to get you some of these. I mean, they cut through 
braid, mono, fluoro, and frog legs, man. This is where they're hanging out. All right, I'm gonna get this frog back out in a minute, but everyone else is getting hits but me and they're throwing bottom baits. <laughs> Let me get back on this swim bait from out of the box. We're throwing all kinds of different stuff, that's for sure. I'm throwing like a clear and blue swim bait. <laughs> Devin's got like a bass colored dark sleeper. Dark Ryan's sleeper. throwing a, a natural-ish chatterbait, like bluegill, or not chatterbait, but swim jig. Yeah, yeah, I think that is actually the bluegill color. <laughs> Oh god damn you scared you? me. You got the rod. I was like, oh shh. Well, I'm still I'm not convinced they won't hit the frog actually. I have a little twig on the right. Oh my god, did you see him jump at it? I saw that. I saw that. Oh god, something just came up and hit it. I felt him tug it. And I I missed him. I literally just had a bite. It felt like a Texas rig hit. He must have like grabbed the legs and went back down. I switched back to the crankbait, which I probably shouldn't be throwing because I already caught one on it. I really should oh nope, grass. I should probably throw that pop in top water because I'm kind of Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> You always do stuff like that. Oh, oh, I think I'm on one. You think you're on? I'm on one. I think you are too, at this I'm point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah! oh, helping us out with the jerk the crank. Boat. With the jerk crank. I'm what is it? Oh my god. Whatever it is, it works. Dude, Ryan is coming in clutch. He's literally picking one off with the jerk bait crank thing that looks similar to the crank that I'm throwing. Oh, okay. Smoking it. Dude, we almost have the slam done now. It's really, it's really just the top waters, I feel like. Did we spook him? Oh, something's looking at you. It's gotta be the same spook. Yeah. Okay, they might have left the, left the premises. I have, a, I have a frog on the left-hander, unless you don't want to use a frog. We can, we can go over to that spot there, and you can throw the frog if you want. Fresh off Jurassic Park. I'm throwing that pencil bait, dude. This thing looks intense. Like, if I get a fish on this, it, please be over two pounds. Like, come on. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a five pound getter right here. I don't think anything's coming off of this. The question is, will something strike it? If they do, I believe we're gonna be talking about a two plus, three plus type of bass over here. Just see if I can walk this thing and how it works. Oh my gosh. I mean, if that does not get a freaking five. This thing is dope. <laughs> I always throw in there and never get a fish too. Oh, my new favorite bait, dude. Thank you, mystery tackle, but look at that. And, and did I call it or what? I knew I was gonna get a small fish on this bait. Never fails, man. The dink master will not let you down. You thought you were gonna get a big fish? Think again. Welcome to the Weston Smith channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more content. <laughs> Easy when you touch that. I don't know what this is. His first time. <laughs> snagged dude this bait is insane so easy to walk i mean it just goes back and forth with a nice little plop you it's got like whopper plopper big old hooks on here i mean it's just deadly i am really liking this thing oh you can work this thing too oh god oh, you had him yo we are closing in literally we just have the uh bait lab little like swim bait and then the frog, which the frog has gotten hits. I even had a bite on the bait lab swim baits over yonder, but the thing is, I think I got a short strike. He didn't quite make it to the hook, which, yeah, no, it happens. Yeah, oh, that's insane. That's what happens when you get the shallow over concrete and dust. <laughs> that should be good. All right, now let me see what else is around here that I can get some shots of. Right there, oh, oh no. Watch out, watch out. Oh my God, you gotta get him. Gotta get him. Real. He got. He bit your bait. Something like jumped right where you were. All right, guys. The light is fading fast. We're gonna go ahead. These are our two best fish of the evening. The only two that we secured in the live well. But we're gonna get these guys back in the water. Make a few more casts, probably for the next 10, 15 minutes or so, and probably load up the trailer. Or load up the trailer. Load up the boat. You know what I'm talking about. And call it a night. Man, we are off the water. We do want to thank Mystery Tackle Boxes for sponsoring today's video. Do not forget, you can try it for as low as $10 your first box. And also Ryan Rigg for coming in clutch and helping us catch these fish on the baits, man. You almost got the frog. Almost, man. Like, almost like five times. I say, even, <laughs> even when we were parking the boat, I missed one, but hey, that's me, guys. I just miss frog fish all the time. And you came in clutch on the other bait. What was it? The Yozuri? It's, it's like a spinning crankbait kind of? Jerk bait, crankbait, we don't even know. Anyways, y'all, it was a blast. Devin's behind the camera. She caught the biggest ones of the night, per the usual. Couldn't expect nothing less. I threw the biggest bait, the baddest bait, 
and it caught like the smallest fish. I don't know what well, I don't know what happens, dude. But an anyways, awesome club, so. we had a bunch of fun, man. Mystery tackle box, mystery tackle box. Ha! <gasps>